Hell, hell, this land of glory, we the Amazonian splash, hello, ya ting. Hell, this of a savior who hunted us of freedom, legends to the heroes who bore the land with their blood, glory to glory, we rise and never to fall. Yeah, in a nation flowing with milk and honey. Glory, glory, glory to the Father for making you a nation to joy forevermore. Amazonian, land of freedom, shall live in plenty, meet in our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The most I gonna be the watchman of this nation. I'm a soldier, lad of freedom. You shall live in plenty, peace in our need. And your children shall be like the stars above. The most I could be the watchman of this nation. Fellow Ambazonians, good people of Ambazonia, you are welcome to this live show. I can see Acha, Acha Smith joining. I can see Luma Fred joining. I can see Sikot Johnson joining. I can see Bami Dongam. I can see uh, Pekin Amber joining. I can see uh, Chumbong Search Heaven, I can see Chief Fu, I can see Nas Ray, I can see Abu Af Abu Free, I can see a Mamp a Pafret Monyufong, I can see uh, Abia, I can see Kima. All of you that are joining, by the time we have 500 views, I'm going to start this uh, live show because I have I have just been informed that uh, I've been informed that. The devil, the devil is trying to take advantage of the fact that Mark Barretta is, is has been offline for, for, for like 48 hours. Yes, I was off, offline from Wednesday night right up to this moment when some concerned Ambazonians, they have called me from, from Cameroon, they have called me from uh, Ambazonia, they have called me from USA, they have called from Denmark, they have called from China. I've received calls from every angle and people are worried. People want to hear me talk, people want to hear me talk, and I said, um, the interest of Ambazonia, it is Ambazonia first. Whatever I was doing, whatever I was doing, I said, it would be good that I break, I break whatever I'm doing and come to talk to my people because uh, the devil has a way of doing things. When the devil sees, the devil always tries to seize, to seize opportunities I've come, many people have said, Mark Barretta, there are audios out there, audios from many, many persons, my audios, Eric's audios, Jume is trying to take advantage. People are coming live, trying to, to create a scenario of something, and I think that the people of Amazonia deserve this truth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that, uh, I'm sorry that I was, I was off. I was off, I decided to, to take some days off, for my own private and spiritual and spiritual uh, reasons, we are we are entering a very delicate moment of a revolution. We are entering a very delicate time of a revolution, and uh, it was good that on my own path, if I'm not if I'm not psychologically okay, if, if I'm not health wise very good up the head, I cannot deliver. I cannot deliver. So I'm sorry that I went off without without giving a notice. I have seen many people have made posts asking where is Mark Barretta. I told you that I told you that uh, Mark Barretta is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. A few months ago, I told you that I am huge. I am huge and I'm very huge and fat. And I can box and box. 
I can box, I box. So, rest assured that uh, no one, not even the diplomatic machine of the Republic, can get me out of the revolution. It is only God. It's only God. When the Lord Almighty will say, Mark Beretta, it is time for you to bow out. I'm going to bow out. So, rest assured that I am fine. I am fine. I am fine and um, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm coming live now to, 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 to dissect, to dissect and to, 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 to rubbish certain information that has been going around. I have not had time to listen to, to, to any audios. I'm going to talk based on what happened and what it is and what some friends uh, uh, did a uh, uh, call and, 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 and inform me so as I showed, I have not had time to, to read at uh, Facebook and just coming live. I am still off WhatsApp. I am still off WhatsApp. Uh, I was still very off on Facebook. And after this live show, I am still going to go off. I will be back only when I am done with my spiritual retreat. I will be back only when I am done with, 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 with trying to build up my own personal self. For the final for the final battle but i had to make this show because i've been told that there are some audios going around i've been told that there are some audios going around on facebook trying to rubbish my humble self mark barretta i've been told that some persons have come live trying to rubbish my humble self mark barretta but I want the people of this platform, I want the people of Amazonia to be aware that Mark Beretta did not join this revolution today. I was part and parcel of the Anglophone movement as far back as when I was in Sase College. As far back as when I received and I knew that 20 May was fake, I stopped going to march on 20 May while back in Sase College. While I was in the, uni while I was in the University of Boyam, my track records are clear. Those who have operated with me at the level of University of Boya Students Union, they are going to attest to, to this, that uh, I always do everything possible to administer, to administer to the best of my ability. I am that one who always wants to see people together. Those who are in the University of Boya who are part of the Green Party, the Yellow Party, the Red Party, they will attest that despite the fact that I was the chairman of, of the great yellow party, I did not despise those of the other parties. I did everything possible to, uh, to, 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 to bridge the gap. That is why the motto of the Students' Union, the yellow party, was students' interest first. It was students' interest first before any party interest, before any, any university administrator. I stood for students' interest first. And my upbringing, my background in the University of Boya, even when I left the University of Boya and I was teaching in Mount Carmel College, Munya, I was arrested. I was arrested. I was locked up for days because information went round. People were saying, Mark Barretta is going to bring occultism in Mount Carmel. People were saying, um, I, I must not be employed. And I was transferred to the great Sasse College where I taught there for, 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 for many years. And you will be shocked to, to know that my students in Mount Kamel, Munyam, and those in Sase, if you talk to any of them, they will tell you only good news about Mark Barretta. Because I have respect even for, 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 for students. I have respect even, even for, for the juniors. I am one of those that I am not a proud guy. Um, I was brought up to be, to be humble. I was not brought up to be insultive. When I insult you and I raise my voice, I will always come back to apologize. Those who grew up with me, me in Sasse, those who grew up with me in Mount Kamel, who saw me taught my students in Sasse, my students in Mount Kamel, will attest to this. And to this day, we still keep this rapport. Back in the University of Boya, students in the University of Boya, even those who came after I must have left, they had news about Baramak. They had news about what I did in the University of, of Boya. So I have a track record. I didn't join this revolution because of social media. I didn't just get up and see lawyers and, and, and teachers striking and said, oh, I, I joined. No, 
I have been in this revolution as far back as that. I have not used my longevity. I have not used my platform to bully. I have not used my platform to bully the voice of, 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 of other junior people. There are many those back home that will tell you upcoming bloggers in which I have supported. I have supported, I have paid for their website. I will not call their names. They will tell you that whenever they reach out to me that they want to create a website, I will support. I have supported many Anglophone uh, 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 bloggers because I believe in the emancipation of, of, of the Anglophone community. I do not call myself to be the president or the interim, the interim president of consortium. They saw me, they saw what I was doing, and they came up to me. And I have kept my track records. Even when I disagreed with the uh, leadership and I came out and bashed, I will always come out to uh, apologize. So, anyone out there who is trying to sabotage Mark Barretta, who is trying to turn the people against me, know that you will fail and you will fail forever. Because I do have a track, I, have, I do have a track record. And all those who know Mark Barretta from Fiango in Kumba to Sase, right down to my leadership as a chairman of Sase Old Boys in, 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 in UB, as a student leader, as consortium leader, they will have good news to tell you about Mark, about Mark Barretta. So let my absence, few days absence, do not give some few people there because they can come on live on social media, they can make audios, do not give them the, the audacity, do not give them the, the, the freedom to come out to try to, 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 to sabotage Mark Barretta. And my relationship, because of my upbringing, my relationship with all leaders, from the consortium to the AGC to Sokadev to interim government to, 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 to everyone has been good. Yes, today I can pick up my phone and call and talk with any leader within the Southern Cameroon uh, uh, movement. And those leaders, they know very well that they do trust Mark Beretta. Because from Dr. Sako to the last person with the leadership, they will always call my phone to ask my, my opinion that Mark Beretta, what, what do you think? What do you think? And I have not done that just by being just by being a bully. I have done that with my humility. I have done, done that respecting every movement. And that is why I am not going to compromise the way I was brought up to be insultive. I'm going to, 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 to leave. I'm going to persecute this revolution the way I have been brought up. And if there are anyone out there who doesn't like the way I persecute the revolution, behold, there are many platforms. There are, there are, there are many platforms. But I've said to myself, I shall not compromise my own conscience to go against, to go against persons that I'm not supposed to go. Yes, I have called leaders up most of you, you are out there, you want me to bash, to bash, and bash, and bash. No. Everyone must not be bashing. People, everyone must, must be bashing. I have my own, I have, I have developed my own epoch. I have developed my own niche. I am within my own niche. I do mine, and you do yours. And when we have to, to collaborate, we will. That is why I still, I still have the trust of the interim government, of the AGC, of SYL, of every, everything. You will not know the level of my cooperation with those groups and inter you will not know because I am exposed to information. I am exposed to confident information from different governments across the world in which I give out to the interim government. And so no one out there should dare to question my loyalty to the people of Amazonia because I didn't join the revolution for fame. I was a very famous one when in the University of Boya. Yes. I was a, the most famous student ever, ever lived in the University of Boya. When you hear about Mark Beretta, when you, when you ask Titanji, when you ask Njoma, when you ask Lambi, they will tell you. Generations after the University of Boya, say talk about Mark Beretta. But I have not used, I didn't become famous by joining this revolution. I didn't become famous by joining this revolution. So fellow um, 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 Amazonians, you must have heard certain audios going round. But let me now tell you, let me address that particular issue before I, before I, 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 signed, I, I signed out. The audios which you have, you've heard between myself and my brother, Eric Tato, that audio was out there since August. 
I want to call on Dr. Makongo. I want to call on Solomon Amabo. I want to call on, 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 Ash, on, on Kemi Ashu. Dr. Makongo was the one that few months ago created a WhatsApp group. And when he created a WhatsApp group, he brought activists together to see how we can collaborate. Of course, in that WhatsApp group, we argue. But when we argue, we, we don't bring those things out there. There are many audios that people have exchanged between them themselves. But we don't bring them out, out, out there. So the audios you've heard, the audios you've heard today, which was one of the most bitter exchange between myself and Eric Kato, was done a month ago in that WhatsApp group. So I'm surprised that one month after, we are in September, moving towards the, 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 the completion of Amazonia, someone, and you see when I said bad fit, it is someone within that group that has sent out the audio, trying to, trying to change the narrative to sound as if it was because of that audio that Mark Beretta has left. That person who did that is a devil. It's a devil. Everyone is free to disagree. I am not a saint. I am bound to make mistakes. I am not a saint. Every tattoo is, is not a saint. We are bound to disagree. But like you said, when we disagree, our disagreement will end. It will end within the group. So I'm shocked. I'm shocked that that order has forced me to leave the few days I was taking off for my for my spiritual uh, 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 um, 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 my for my spiritual retreat to come live just to explain. This, these are things I hate to do because the revolution is bigger than Mark Barretta. It's bigger than, than anyone. I was supposed to come out here trying to talk about the COVID shutdown. I was supposed to come out here trying to talk, talk about the U.S. A, 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 a senator, the U.S. former Amistad, who has said Bia must go back to federation, which you don't accept, or expect Amazonia to succeed. Now I'm coming out trying to justify something I hate, I hate to do. But I think the people of Amazonia deserve the truth from me. And if all those activists in that group, if they are sincere, I'm calling out Dr. Mac because Dr. Matongo was the one who created the group. Suleiman Amabo, you were there. Kevin Ashu, you were there. Walter Schema, you, you, were, you, you were there. Dela Dela, you were there. Um, Ashu Kingsley, you, you were there. Um, um, El Tato, you were there. So I don't know why a bitter exchange between myself and Eric Tato a month ago, in which that has been forgotten, someone will, will bring them up because Mark Barretta is, um, has been out for uh, 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 two days. They bring them up to, to, to try to derail you. It was brought up to change the narrative that Mark Beretta ran away. How, how can I run? How can I run? There is no way I can leave the revolution. Why should I live away when we have people on ground zero dying? When we have people of a corner in G everywhere dying? Never, never, never. So please, I'm, I'm Amazonians. If, 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 if you've heard those audios, all those have quoted them, if they are sincere, they are going to make a post. They are going to call in and say yes. What Mark Barretta was saying is the truth. You can't take an audio exchange one month ago in a group that activists are there arguing. It's not like me. Many other activists, they have argued, they have exchanged very hard audios. Why would someone take an audio for one, for one month ago and share it out, trying to, try to, to paint Mark Barretta black, trying to, try, try to, paint, uh, try to give a narrative that it, it happened just a few days ago. And that's why Mark Barretta is not, on, Mark Barretta is not online. Please, Amazonians. I did not grow. This platform did not grow because, of, or because, because I was famous. It grew because you believe in this platform. It grew because you believe in the truth of, of this platform. And yeah, man. Yeah, my people, people talk about money now. Let me address the issue of Sunday offerings. But before I address the issue of Sunday offerings, I always say, if there is anyone out there, anyone out there, any Amazonian that has given me Mark Barretta money, that Mark Barretta, this money is meant for this group or for this, and I do not live to that institution, please come out. Come out and talk. We should stop this sabotage, stop these issues. It doesn't help us. Doesn't help us. Doesn't help us at all. Now let me address the issue of the Sunday offerings. 
Many people have been going out trying to insinuate that Mark Barretta made games with, with Sunday offense for crying out loud. When I began the Sunday offerings around February this year, this year, I came out. It was it was public. It was public. Sunday offerings wasn't 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 being a sin. And I did that, even taking the risk to publicly raise funds for self-defense action. We called it Sunday offense. Many of you called on, on live and said you are giving this amount. Many of you, many of you did, didn't even at the end of the day did what you, you had to do. I was out here after the Sunday offerings. I gave a balance sheet live of what came in. And I said it clearly that it was for the four groups. By then we had no my trip to Boya. By then we had nothing. When I did that Sunday offering, I said four groups. One, the ADF. Two, Sokadev. Three, Ara. Four, Tigers. I said whatever we committed will be shared equally between these four groups. Between these four self-defense groups equally. No matter their number of falls on ground zero. And when, when we did collect the Sunday offerings, it was done twice. Both not going to see if Sunday offering was done, was done every Sunday. It was done twice. The first Sunday, we did that. And when I shared it, I brought to you on Facebook the response, the acknowledgement from these various persons, from the ADF, Sukadev, Ara, and Tigers. I brought to you the response that they are their acknowledgement. I brought it, I brought it to you. The next Sunday, people went out to sabotage and said Mark Barretta has no right to collect funds because the funds were going to ADF Sukadev. People were angry that there is no way we should fund ADF and Sukadev. They were angry. And the next Sunday, it dropped from about 1% to about 1% or 2 or 2%. After that Sunday, I stopped. I said no more. We should now contribute directly to the interim government. I stopped. So now, those who are going out to be talking, I have told you, I, I will call the names. I have said, reach out to Dr. Cho Ayaba of the ADF. Reach out to Dr. Akwanga of Sukadev. Reach out to Chris Bongam of Ara. And now reach out to the present interim government, Homeland Security, Pastor John Egberan. He was the tiger command it was a tiger command in, in charge of a, a military at, at that time i brought this four persons group chris bogam of ara if he's watching me now he will tell you pastor john and baron or who is the present ig on security if he's out there he will tell you Joyaba, he will tell you i can't will tell you i brought these four persons in a group and i told them that each sunday this is the amount that that came and was divided equally, equally, equally with the last cent to each of these four groups. I have called their names. You know, Dr. Akwanga, if I'm lying, he will come out and say, Mark you are lying. He will say, Mark Barita, you, you never send money to me twice for the two Sunday offerings. If I'm lying, Choyaba will say, Mark you are lying. If I'm lying, the interim government, Homeland Security, Pastor John and Baron will come and say, Mark you are lying. If I'm lying, Chris Bondam of Ara will come and say, Mark Barretta, you are lying. These are the four persons in which I brought together in a group and I shared. So how come, how come people, are, people are trying to insinuate that I, I went away with Sunday offense? It's all, it's, it's all heartbreaking. <coughs> it's all it's so it's so hard it's so heartbreaking it's so heartbreaking so i i think i think i think i've called these four persons and recall that at that time at that time we had no my trip to boya there was there was no unity where everybody was 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 contributing i said what can i do as mark barretta i have used my platform to raise money for car of dr fontaine which which was sent. I have used my platform to raise money for Ayas Foundation. I have, I have, I have, I will tell you for Ayas Foundation, which was sent. I have used my platform to raise money for other purposes, which was sent. And when 
I don't understand who was taking. We said we should, we should, we should activate self defense. I said, okay, why not use my power to raise money for Sokadev, Ara, Tigers, and ADF? Those four groups were the most popular at that time. I did it for two Sundays, for two Sundays, and I stopped. And these four groups they didn't receive. So, what is the hell with people saying issues left and right, left and right? I have called their names. I have called these four persons. You are out there. Meet them and ask them that how much do you receive on the first on, on the, 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 the first Sunday? How much do you receive on the second? These four groups, Chris Bergam is there, he will tell you. So I please, I hope that is I hope that is clear. I hope, I hope the, 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 that is clear. You can reach out to Pastor John Enguaran of, uh, of the Interim Government, who is the, the present IG Homeland Security. He was a Tigers uh, 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 military commander. He will tell you. All those even in the Tigers uh, uh, Council, they will, they will tell you. They will tell you. And many others who, many others who, who came to me and they wanted to help, they will tell you that I, I, I linked them up with the various group. They will tell you. So I don't know why there's so much noise people are going about talking about this. So someone is trying to divide us. Yes, my brother Eric Tato raised up the issue in the in the WhatsApp group. <clears throat> he was ranting. I was ranting. I also have feelings. I also have I also have I also have I also have emotions. I'm not a stick. I'm not a stick. I also have emotions. He was ranting. I was ranting. So what what is shocking me is that how come an audio in a in 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 a, in a group in a group which has only activists that was done one month ago will now surface this month just because Mark Barretta has taken some few days off so people are now using that to try to to try to derail to to uh, try to to turn away try to try to give an, an a different impression that Mark Barretta probably left. Has, has been offline because of that audio. No, no, please. I was offline since Wednesday night. Since Wednesday night, because of my own personal reasons, to clear my head off, regroup myself, so that I can come back very strong and powerfully. <clears throat> and I'm coming on live now because many people of goodwill, my friends, other activists, leaders of the internet government and, and, and other groups, they have been calling my phone asking that what is wrong because it was strange that for over 24 hours they will not hear me i put myself out of whatsapp and out of facebook to to free myself from anything struggle at least for these few days but maybe i think the timing the the, 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 the timing was wrong was wrong the enemy saw the good opportunity to, to come out to uh, try to banish to to, to 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 try to say to say those things as a pity. Well, <clears throat> I hope I, I I I hope that is clear. I'm disappointed, and I'm I'm I've I've, I've called Doctor Doctor Makongo. That is a shame that in a group that he created with other activists, we who is there in the world that that doesn't disagree? Do they know how much uh, uh, leaders then they seem to disagree? They shout. And 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 they insult each other. Why would someone take our disagreement and shouting? Why did it come out since? Why did they send it out? Nobody even knew that Eric and myself we had issues. He went on doing doing his thing. I went on doing my thing. Nobody knew we had issues. So why would someone want to take advantage that my brother has been off for, for, for two days and try to send out those audios, try to try to insinuate that the audios were just recent? We just listen, and that's why Mike Barretta left. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Why should I go? Why should I go? Has I've not been free? There's no way I'm. There's no way I'm going. There's no way I'm going. I'm sorry, Amazonians, that uh, I left without your knowledge. I'm sorry that I gave most of you high blood. I'm sorry that most of you felt disappointed. I'm sorry that most of you felt. Uh, 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 Disappointed. I'm sorry that I left without giving a prior knowledge that I'll be living for a while. I'm sorry about that. I hope that that wouldn't that won't uh, that won't happen again. But the calls that I received, many people were worried, made me to to come live now, try to explain these things. And what I've said are just the truth. 
And just, just the truth. If other activists, if they are sincere, they will tell you that yes, those audios were made last month ago in the in the group. If if Chris Bongam, Ajabacho, Kwangam, and the, the IG uh, 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 Homeland Security uh, 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 Minister, if they are sincere, they will tell you that yes, I bought them in one group, and I said this this is what came in. You saw it on live when people were calling and and donating. This is what came in, and this is what all of the they received the same amount, the same. The same. So please let us let us learn to shame to, 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 to shame the, the devil. We might disagree with our strategies, but let's avoid to, to sabotage others. There is no way that no one will succeed by sabotaging. If this platform was sabotaging, if this platform was in, in insulting, there is no way this platform will 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 grow. I started building this platform from 2008 when I joined uh, 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 Facebook. I, I didn't start. I didn't start today. I, Mark Barretta, I have a track record. I didn't just come out from 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 the air. I have a track record. You can find me from Kumba. You can ask about me from Mount Kame. You can ask about me from Sase. You can ask about me about me from my friends who were in sober with me in in, in UB. You can ask about me from, from my friends who were in, in the University of Boya Students Union. You can ask about me from the students of Boya within 2014, 2004 to 20 to 2008. You can ask about me even within interim government groups and so. Because I try as much as possible to, to, to prosecute this revolution with all my own conscience, with truth and justice. That said, I hope, I hope in, I hope in, in God's name, I hope, I hope in God's name of I've, I've, I've cleared this and I, I don't wish to come back to this because it is it, it sucks us. We have better things to do for the ocean. BI, is, BI continues to kill our people. We have things to do. People are dying daily. I'm off for two days. I don't even know the... I, I, I can't talk about the, the most recent issue. But, but what I know is that we have a US diplomat who has been an ambassador who has been a, 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 a section of state. I know that we have a top U.S. diplomat who has now, yesterday, tweeted and said, if Paul Bia, if Cameroon does not return to pre-1972 uh, uh, federation, then Amazonia will, 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 will secede and will become a nation. I think that diplomat, he is talking the truth. But we must remind him and all others that we have gone past the level of federation. We cannot federate with a country that kills our people. We cannot federate with a country that has destroyed more than 126 of our villages. We cannot federate with a country that has caused more than 40 people of us to be displaced. We cannot federate with a country that causes massacre in Pinyin, in Mecca, in Batibo, in Chomba. We cannot federate with a country that calls us dogs. I was also told that recently, just a few hours ago, that the Minister of Defense in Cameroon has issued a confidential letter and declared that there are terrorists in Yaoundé. He is saying that some Cameroonians that ran away from Boya, that ran away from 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 Bamenda, and went to Yaoundé, they, they are terrorists. How can we federate with a country that calls our people terrorists? Those who have migrated to Douala, Yaoundé, those are also IDPs. They are running from the war. They are running from the massacre of of of, of their families. And a minister of another country will call us terrorists. So therefore, we cannot federate with that country. So we want to thank, we want to thank that U.S. diplomat that they should instead pull the button to to to, to arrest Paul Bia for crimes against humanity, for organizing genocide in Amazonia. We acknowledge the fact that that high-level U.S. Diplomat 
He tweeted yesterday and he warned Bia that within one year, if Bia fails to return to Federation, Amazonia will become a reality. Amazonia is already a reality because we have succeeded to crush, to crush. We have succeeded to make sure now you see they're now bringing, bringing new GOs and SGOs because the rest are running. We have succeeded to take charge of our land. And we're not going back. We're not going back. I think that the international community, that diplomat, they are not, in fact, they, want, they don't want to believe that we are gone. The people of Amazonia believe, have said, that the tweet from that U.S. diplomat who has been an ambassador, it is a signal that Amazonia will become a reality. They have asked Bia to return to federation. But there is no way we can federate with a country whose governors they have called us dogs. There is no way we can federate with a country whose defense minister are calling our people terrorists. We are freedom fighters. And the people of Amazonia did not die. Few days to now, I think tomorrow, 22nd, it will make one year anniversary where our people went out in gloves in Bermuda. They went out in gloves in Boya. They went out in gloves in Manfe, in Bangem, in Guti. They went out in their numbers with peace plants, with peace plants to protest. They said they wanted peace. They called for the release of Bala. They called for the release of Mancho, of Penteris, and all the rest. They called for dialogue. Yes, we went out with peace plants and the military of Pobia, they came with war machines and they massacred us. And that is why tomorrow, 22nd of September, which is the anniversary, the first anniversary of the massacre of our people has been christened by the interim government as the Ayok Dilos Siku Day. And so tomorrow, fellow Amazonians, wherever you are, Tomorrow, it recalls that one year after we were with peace plants, and one year today we are holding the we are, we are holding the gun. That is why we tell those who try to say we forced this. That is why we tell all those who try to say we are the cause of this war. We said no. There is a history of the revolution. This revolution has a history. It has a history since from the foundation of how our parents came together. It has a history when John Good Foncha went to UN and cried and asked for forgiveness. It has a history when the SDF was created to cater for the Anglophones. It has a history when the, our leaders, our people came out in the all Anglophones 1 and 2. They said they, want, they wanted a, a federation. It had a history when our people went out to protest for the GC board and the University of Boya, they were massacred. It had a history when in 2016, Bala Fontaine, Patasan came out and lawyers they said they want to build back the educational and legal system. It has a history when Bia arrested Bala, arrested Fontaine, arrested Mancho and caused Patasan to flee. It has a history when we, myself, and Ivor were sitting in a corner of our homes. And when the order came to us that you are going to assume the interim government. It has a history when our people decided to form Skakuf governing council in now interim government. Yes. It has a history when Ayo Julius Tabe was given the mandate by the people of Amazonia. And they went out from one village to another. It has a history. They went out with peace plants. They were singing peace. It, it, it has a history. There is a history. Our people do not just get up to pick up the weapons to fight. No. There is a history. We were forced. Our mothers, our parents, our friends were massacred. We saw it in Boya where you saw even, 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 even a, 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 a corpses of our people were littered in the bushes. And our people said, enough is enough. And they said, even with their dead guns, they are going to fight with their dead guns and die by their dead guns and be buried with their dead guns. Tomorrow is the 22nd of September 2018. Fellow Amazonians, I want that tomorrow, as we commemorate this day, we should recall ourselves. We should remind ourselves of where we came. We should remind ourselves that 
We came from somewhere. We should remind ourselves that we were peaceful. We should remind ourselves that whenever someone tries to tell you that you are the cause of the war, remind that person that one year ago you were with the peace plant. And the only cause of the war is Paul Bia. It is Paul Bia who declared war on us. And our people say, yes, it is the right, it's our right to self-defend. And we shall fight this war to the end. And Ambassador shall be ruined. That is why today you can hear a top U.S. diplomat. You can hear him saying, "What in beer?" Because within the cycles of diplomacy, they know it. They know it that we are gone. They know that we didn't pick up weapons because we lost it. They know that Bia has killed our people and going to kill our people. They know, and that is why because the world is full of hypocrisy. That is why because the world is full of geopolitics. The world is full of interest. It is in the interest of this world powers. It is in the interest of these world powers to keep the people, to keep Cameroon as so-called one indivisible. But the interest of the people of Amazonia is more than any interest of Russia, more than any interest of UK, more than any interest of any other world power. It is the interest of Amazonia because we want to see our land free. Fellow Amazonians, tomorrow, is the 22nd of, of September. Tomorrow, I want all, all those families who lost loved ones. Today, you might, you may be disappointed. You may be disappointed by what you see on, on social media. You may be disappointed with your activists. You may be disappointed with your leaders. But recall that we all are humans. We will argue, but the souls of all those gone before us it cries. It cries for Amazonia. It is not crying for federation. To all those in ground zero, all of you, my mommy, my papa, them, we don't lost loved ones. We know the pains. There are some of you now with, with battered eyes, with battered buttocks, with half legs, with, with, with so many pains and scars on you. When you look at that scar, I want you to look at that scar today and be hopeful, and be hopeful that Despite the perceived confusion within the diaspora leadership, be hopeful that despite the perceived issues within our people in the diaspora, be hopeful that there is hope because we'll be free. You have still seen diplomats warning. They warn because they know that their interest is to see a one Cameroon. But that's not our interest. Our interest is that we too, like Nigerians, we too, like Ghana, we too, like UK, we too, like USA, we deserve our independence, we deserve to be free. And that is what matters. So tomorrow, fellow Amazonians, wherever you are, when you get up, I want you, if you are a Muslim, if you are a Christian, pray, pray, pray to God and ask God to give the diaspora leadership some some clear direction. Ask God to give your activists a heart which is not filled with hatred. Ask God to, to destroy any greedy, any individual which is full of hatred who want to derail a revolution. Because this revolution, it is the people's revolution, and they say, Vox Populi, Vox Dei. When the voice of God, when the voice of the people is the voice of God. Fellow Amazonians, tomorrow is a big day. It's a big day that we, wherever you are, we shall commemorate in solemnity. In solemnity with all those that have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith. And even one week after, and in, in, on the first of, 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 of October, uh, people still came out. Despite the massacre, they came out again with peace plans to tell the world that 1st of October 1961 was a day that we, as a people, cannot forget. And we are thanking the diplomats who has now signaled to us. You see, take the word of the diplomat very serious. That diplomat of U.S., he is still a current diplomat. He is still within U.S. cycle. He is an advisor to Donald Trump. So, within the cycles, they are afraid. They are afraid that Amazon will become a reality. That is why we must continue to pursue, because, listen, when self-defense is active on ground zero, when self-defense is moving, then diplomacy will, will speed up. Now, you have the hint already that they are afraid that we will go. That we will go, because in the spiritual realm, it has happened. What now, it, it, it has to 
actualize. It has to materialize into 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 our our statute. All those in ground zone, I know most of you are disappointed. You have seen your your, your children not going to school. You have seen some people have been kidnapped. Some people have been attacked. You, your businesses are down. You don't have anything. Yes, it is a price we are going to pay. Independence comes with a cost. As all of you, all of us, went out shouting that we want independence. Independence will come with a cost. It is something we have to accept. We have not been used to, to, to a war type. But, my people, let us embrace this. And let us be cautious that we are gradually reaching there. This revolution, the Amazonian Cameroon War, is a special war within the revolution. Don't think that we will take 20 years. We will take 20 years. We will take 5 years. We will take 6 years. We will take 10 years. People are trying to derail you that people fought many years. No. Because this one, it is truth. It is just. It is legally. It is historically situated. We are going to be free within the, the, the nearest future. Fellow Amazonians, have faith. Have faith. Believe also in your leaders. I know you are disappointed in your, in your leaders. I know you call some of them scammers. You call some of them names and so. But we have a duty to protect our leadership. We have a duty to protect them. Because no nation out there will take us serious if we rubbish and rubbish our leaders in public. We have to, as a matter of fact, why we call them to order, why we call why we have to make sure that we, as a matter of fact, because when we start doing those things, it opens a can of worms. It opens a situation where people can start doing things. That is why the People's Platform, Barretta News Platform, has as an objective as the protector of this revolution. So, let my going out for a few months, you see, I am still very strong the way I left. I needed to build myself spiritually so that when I come back on Monday, I come with a different type of fire. I am coming with the fire holy ghost that will, it will burn like a public. And it will tell that we are going towards the end point. Yes. If you are out there disappointed, I want you to rejoice again. Rejoice, my people, and believe that you are not fighting a lost battle. Amazonians will win this war. They say a war which is a people's war can never be lost. We will win the war because from every mommy, from every papa is with us. We will win the war because when a soldier goes out there and sees another soldier falls, he gets up, he carries the corpse, he buries the corpse, he comes back to fight. Because he believes, believes that he is fighting to free Amazonia. To so all those out there who try to insinuate that ground zero has been manipulated, you failed. All those out there who try to insinuate that I'm a boys and illiterate, you failed. Those are degree holders. Those are people with bachelor degrees. Those are people with masters. Those are people with with, with, with advanced level, with with, with other level, yes, they are our brothers and sisters, people that they have been been this, they have been pushed the wall. Our boys are not illiterate; they are not saints either, but they are putting their lives there to defend us, and that is why, as we commemorate tomorrow, which is the Ayo Julius Tabet Day, we have to honor the Amber boys. We have to honor them. That they too have their own mistakes. They too have adrenaline running through them. They are desperate for freedom. When you are desperate for freedom, you take certain actions without thinking. Yes. When you are desperate for freedom, you want to be free. You want to become. We are desperate. I am desperate. And um, Taco is desperate. Ivan is desperate. Ta uh, uh, Taco is desperate. Ayaba is desperate. Akosham is desperate. Tapang is desperate. You are desperate. We are all desperate to reach an alive Amazonian. And when one is desperate, sometimes our thinking doesn't go correctly. Sometimes we take actions without thinking. But we are humans. We are humans. And I expect that when I fall, another activist should stand by me and hold me up. I expect that when another activist falls, I should stand by him and hold him or her up. 
When I fall, another activist should not stand there to laugh, to clap. What will happen if today I'm gone? I'm gone, and so what? If today Tato is gone, and so what? If today uh, uh, Kemi is gone, and so what? If today um, Ivo is gone, and so what? It is Amazonia. That is the message we have to have. That is the message that we have. We must be a border skipper. Even when we disagree, even when we call others out, we must put at the back of our mind that we must be the brothers and sisters of each other. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I have seen people posting on their wall asking, where is Mark Barretta? It gives me some satisfaction that despite the fact that I am also a target, I know that people are bothered about Mark Barretta. It gives me some inner feeling. It gives me all those who have called and to call Mark Barretta, where are you? It gives me the feeling that Amazonians also do care. And I thank you. I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Pray for your activists. Pray for all of us. Pray for all of us. So don't bother too much about our innuendos. Our internal disagreements. Those things will be. As I told you, in this platform, we are focused about what will happen. Today also, you you saw a communique, I was told, a communique from this foolish, useless Cameroon Defense Minister calling our able Southern Cameroonians terrorists because they came from Southern Cameroons. But they should be aware that once we free Amazonia, we are going to build a big, fat, Mami with that big wall. Who we'll big a who we'll build a very big wall and that the immigrants coming over, we will take your doctors, we will take your pillars, they will come and be get men in the universe of Boya. They will come and be cleaners in our offices. Yes. We will take your best because we're going to install a very hard, a very hard immigration policy. La Republic, it is in the interest of La Republic to separate with us peacefully. If they separate with us, on a very sad note, we are going to deal with them. Yes, because Amazonia is a land of milk and honey. We will deal with them. We will deal with them. Fellow Amazonians, as I begin to end this show, tomorrow, it is a day that our people went out and they were massacred. It is the first anniversary. So wherever you are, wherever you are, what you are doing, tomorrow, by midday, Take some time off, pray. Pray and ask God to give final understanding to diaspora leadership. Pray and ask God to keep our people who are suffering on ground zero. Yes, I have seen people going to dwell like your own day. People are suffering. It is true. I won't come out here and say they're suffering. People are suffering on ground zero. There are many families without food to eat. Yes, we know those things. That is why diaspora... We have to keep on fighting to reach out and help. And we have to take actions, actions that put our people first. I am happy and I'm satisfied that our leaders came together and changed the no uh, solution policy to start from 1st of October till the, till the 10 or 9. I'm happy. Those are the things that we need. We want to see leadership, the AG7 talking more, coming more, addressing certain issues. The people of Amazonia, they have begged for this. They deserved it. They have begged for this. And Amazonia leadership must give them this. They deserve it. They deserved it. The confusion of last week must stop. We have seen the confusion. We, the, those who are out here, leadership must be proactive. Must be proactive that we know that our social media is our greatest weapon, but it can be our most dangerous to kill us. We must learn to be proactive. That when issues come on social media, leadership must be able to address it immediately. We are here to enforce. We cannot come on our own. On our own, activists, we don't have the, the, the power to say this and it happens anymore. We are only now enforcers. We are only now informers. We are only now communicators. At first, we, 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 we will say act and they act. For now, that has gone. We are only enforcers. We are only so. We are asking that the diaspora leadership should be proactive. What happened last week where few people were confused? I asked people calling me 10, 16, 20 feet. This we call on them to be proactive. They should put their ears on the ground. They should listen to what they should ask most of our opinion. Ask most of our opinion. Ask. 
Ask opinions. Ask Eric Tato what he thinks. Ask Mark Barretta. Ask Kemi Ashu. Ask Ashu Kingsley. Ask Ivo. Ask uh, um, Yannick. Ask every other activist what do they think of a policy. They will tell you because those of us, we are in touch with the people. We read platforms. We read communiques. We read comments. We read on, on what's up, what people are saying, how they feel towards a particular policy. Leadership must be able to come to us, to ask us what is the temperature of the, because I, Mark Barretta, I feel the temperature. There are times I might come against it, I might come in support of the policy, but the point is say no. We feel the temperature. We read the comments from platform to platform. We read WhatsApp groups. We read posts of people. We feel the temperature. Leadership must be able to reach out to us to ask our opinions, what we think about a certain policy before they try to implement. This thing it is all for one and one for all. Fellow Amazonians, thank you for listening to, to me. I hope that, I hope that I have been able to clear your doubts. I hope that we are going to focus now on what matters. I hope that we will keep aside any quarreling, any bad faith, any innuendos. We move ahead, forge ahead for the, for the revolution. Because it is what matters. If the revolution fails, Mark Barretta cannot come again. At the end of the day, those on ground zero, at one point in time, they are going to pick their, their losses, pick themselves, and start a new life. But with me, I will die here and be buried. I refuse to die in the just where be buried. I refuse. I refuse to remain in the just one. No, no. I want to come home. I refuse. Because we know that. Listen. Don't the just one. Listen. If we fail, we will not happen. But if we fail, know that you and I, even the next regime, we make it impossible for us to come. Now they are going to follow us in the diaspora very hard so that in the next 10 to 20 years we shouldn't come again up. Not that they are going to put in, in point, they are going to make our people listen. If we fail, every village will have a, an army barrack. You hear me? If we fail, every village within every metas will have an army barracks. Our people in the villages, in the suburbs, in towns, they are going to be traumatized. They are going, there will be real assimilation because every village will have at least three banks of army. This is what they are doing. Go to Munyenge. There's a barracks there. Ekona, they have built many. Tiko, go to Kumba. Many, many barracks. Bonge, they keep building because they are hoping that we will fail. When we fail now, the entire Amazon will become a, 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 a country of barracks, of army. So therefore know that we must not fail. Failure is not in our books. Failure is not in our books. That is why we must keep aside any bad faith, any issue, and come together to focus on what matters. Because when we fail, those back home will be massacred. You and I in diaspora, our name not die. Our name not die. We will not be able to go back on ground zero. Me and say, I deny. I don't want to die for you. May they bury me where no man not even chop dance. Now, wait I want to die a typical African man. May they cry me. They be my bearing gang. They make cry die. People chop, drink, dance. I don't want to die for you where some, some church self, you go for church. Now, one or two, if it comes for church. Eh? I don't want to be for diaspora. I want to come for ground, for ground zero. So, it is. The interest of everyone to fight. And let us do it with love, with dignity, with integrity. Fellow Amazonians, thank you for joining this show. Again, I am sorry that I left for a few days without telling you. I know many people depend on Mark Barretta to give them the real news. I know many people on Mark Barretta to lift up your spirit when you are, you are down. I know many people depend on Mark Barretta to guard, to protect the image of the revolution. I am sorry that I disappointed you. I was out. I was out. I will not go out again. I will stay. I will stay. Maybe I will stay. I will stay. I thought I will now go and come on on Monday. But I have seen that when, when I'm out for a few days, enemies of the revolution, they try to go out there to change the narrative, to try to tell you why Mark Barretta left. But... Before God and man, before 
my mother and father who brought me into this world, before you, Amazonians, I have persecuted the revolution with all honesty, with all integrity, to the best of my abilities, knowing even that I am also human, I can make mistakes, and when I make those mistakes, I always come out to say, I am sorry to you or to whosoever I have hurt. But please, do not succumb to blackmail. Do not succumb to sabotage. Reject blackmail, whatever the source. Reject sabotage, whatever the source. Reject it because we need everyone to be united. We need, even if we are separated in our groups or what, in our strategies, but it is Amazonia first. It is the freedom of Amazonia. So to all of you that you've tried to get me on what's up, you will not get me. After this, I'm going to re I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to reinstall what's up. After this, we'll continue our communications in the various groups that I was and one on one communication. I'm sorry for going without and most of you have been hurt. But let us make sure, let love lead. It's only love that will free Amazonia. Because Amazonia will be unique. Some people are trying to equate Amazonia to such that it will not happen. There is no way it will happen. Amazonia will be unique. It will be a land of freedom and democracy. It will be a land where, listen, the way our people are holding, are holding, are holding that's now the revolution. This is the revolution, though, but they are holding it as on their nash. Then what will happen when we have a free Amazonia? So, to all those who have years about a, a so called South Sudan, do not be afraid that. What we are expressing now in the revolution, by the time we are free, it must have been perfected. And everyone will deserve what, what he has. So thank you very much. Thanks for staying with me. And I hope that uh, my message has, uh, has gone through. I have no problem with any activists. I have no problem with anyone. The others you've heard, I raised my voice. I may have said things, things, but I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I may have said things, and I've been very, very loud and said, I will do this. I will deal with you. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. But th that is not me. Emotions were there. And uh, it, it's a pity that in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a group of activists that we exchange those audios, some, someone will take it out there. It's a pity. That something was done one month ago is a pity. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Meanwhile, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, other issues you want to address, I will, I will address them. I will address them later. Other issues, I will address them later. I came here purposely to lift up your spirit, to tell you that I am alive. No one has taken me away. I'm alive, body and soul. I still have the zeal in me to free Amazonia and to clear your doubts on certain issues. So thank you very much and may God bless you. Remember, it's either we live free or die. I love you all. Stay blessed. Good night. Bye-bye.